Kenny Moore. 23, Indianapolis Colts. Best slot corner in the NFL? For sure. For sure? I like that. I would agree. Um, here, we got to break this down on camera now. What's with the no invites for you, man? You, 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 you t <laughs> he tweets me. He's like, where you at? You coming? And he's already there doing it. We all know how busy you are. So when that's going through your head, you're just like, I'm not even going to send him the invite. <laughs> that's on me. That's on you. In front of everybody out here for me. Okay. Well, next time. I like to segue, you know? I like to, what's your favorite restaurant in India? Like, what's your go-to spot? Ooh. Okay, but those are like fancy NFL numbers. So what's like if you're just, you know, kind of some grub, you know, like like people like me Ooh, can eat. A, you can eat that. <laughs> um, I would say Anthony's Chop House. Um, that is not for like people that okay. don't have NFL money. Okay, the Friendly Tavern in Zionsville. Tavern is more like Russia, it. Man. Okay. Tavern is more up my alley. I don't do chop houses that much. Right, first, much. first meal on me. Okay. But first meal on you, but you got to send the invite. And so, you know, we're going to be waiting for a while here. Um, big IndyCar guy. Why? Well, how, how did this come about for you? Yeah, it was a random day at the track. Yeah. It was the day that I met Pato and Joseph Newbrother. So um, from there, Pato invited me to his first race in Alabama. Yeah. And I was surprised when he came out. But um, from there, from the four part test day to Birmingham to St. Pete, um, I think the relationship that I've had around the tracks and uh, within the teams has been uh, incredible. So it's definitely the hospitality first, yeah. and then it's the adrenaline and everything that I feel when I go to a race. You waved the green flag for practice, right? For the Indy 500? For sure. Were you nervous to do that? Did you think about dropping it at all? No. The flag did move though. So even though you're a DB, traditionally you don't have the best hands, but you had good enough hands to hold on to the flag, is what you're saying. I got good hands. <laughs> He's got good hands. Uh, is Pato going to bring home the title? He's uh, yeah. Him and Alex Pelo are in the lead for... Yeah, but it's pretty cool to see two young guys like that really going at it. I agree. So, um, you know, Alex Pelo, he's pretty good. All right. But I'm going to give it to my guy. You're going to get it to Pato? Yeah, and then true. what did it take for you? Because he drove you up the training camp. No? Yeah. How fast were you guys going? <laughs> so, so first he picked me up in the 620 McLaren. Okay. So he he drove that pretty crazy. Yeah. Don't let Pato fool you. So that's just like out in the interstate with a regular car. That's not regular like an Indian car. car. Yeah, regular car. Okay. And then we hop into this two seater. Gotcha. It was quite the entrance, man. Was there any influence from Reggie Wayne to do that, or are you just like, oh, Pato's my guy? Nah, I've seen I've seen Reggie's pictures and everything. Shout out to Reggie, but. Everything was just inspired by Lucas Oil. Nice. Could you cover Reggie Wayne and his prime? Prime Reggie versus prime you. Prime Reggie? I haven't reached my prime yet. I like this. See, man, you're always thinking. When, when it's not to invite me somewhere, you're always thinking ahead. You got the inspirational tweets and everything. You haven't reached your prime. I dig that. That's, that's good. I was thinking, since we're both big IndyCar guys, it could be cool if we started an IndyCar team together. What do you think? I don't know what you think. What about maybe like 15, 20 years from now, you know, when we both have you prime money, prime money for me. I've already thought of the title. This is going to be good. What you got? Mojo Racing. Because, you know, you, Kenny Momo is your name on yeah. Twitter. So you have Mo Momo from Kenny JoJo. Moore and JoJo. We got Mojo Racing. Dude. I like that. That's pretty sick, man. <laughs> That'd be dope. What colors? Um, I haven't thought that far. Uh, Let's put a lightning bolt in there somewhere. Yeah, lightning bolt would be dope. I'm thinking some kind of like flashy colors, I like you know, that. so it's like turning that. heads. People don't have to be like, who is that? And that? Oh, it's Mojo Racing. Duh. I like that. You know what I mean? Um, have you talked to Andrew Luck recently? No. Did you talk to him a lot when you guys were playing? I mean, you know, here and there. Yeah, I haven't talked to him. Have you heard my impression of Andrew? I think I have. I think I like the saving one. You like the saving one better? But do you I think do I have heard the yeah. What what grade did you give it? Pretty spot on. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Kitty Moore. <laughs> I don't, I'm glad he's on the other team. <laughs> um, good. I'm glad you like that one. Can you do any impressions? Not even a coach or a teammate. No. 
That's all right. It's kind of a spot on it. See, this is what happens like you gotta head out town. When people go out, like when you go out to a bar or something or a restaurant, people are like, "Oh, Kenny, like, can I get your autograph? You play football? It's cool." When I go out to one, they're like, "Hey, could you do the saving boys for me right now?" And I'm kind of like, "Ah, uh, I don't really want to like right now." Yeah. So I just did that to you. So that was a, a day, a day in my life. Um, does the secondary for the Colts have a nickname? I feel like all the great secondaries, because I mean, you got you, you got Julian Blackman, Kari Willis. We're still trying to create that. I mean, you can't really, you can't be too ahead of yourself. I feel like so once you get everything together, once you put the pieces together, so then we can create some ways to you know, meet our goals and, and have the, the guys that we want in the room. Okay, because I feel like, like I said, all the great ones have a nickname, and you know, you got the no Fly Zone, uh, Legion of Boom. So I'm waiting on your guys. Yeah, but like, you know, like I said, like, they want Super before Bowl Legion stuff. of Boom, they can't Legion of Boom, they have to you know, go through that due diligence. Yeah, oh. I'm trying to think of like things with a horse, you know, like this, I guess maybe the stable, right? Because you guys like keep the, the stables where they keep the horses, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that. I don't know. Just you think uh, on it. You guys are better. You know each other better than I know you. Um, you said your favorite spots already in Indy. Last one I got for you, my man. Who's the teammate? This is Colts camp. You're camp. Okay. Who's the teammate that you would at least want to pitch a tent with and camp with in a tent? Ooh. Uh, Brandon Ayuk. Okay. Go catch him. Yeah, you're pitching the tent, you're setting it all up, you're on one side of the tent, he's right over there. <laughs> hey, this dude just kind of stinks, you know, he don't shower a lot, maybe snores. I don't know, man. You had roommates for training camp before, right? Like before COVID times? Right. Who were they? I had Jalen Collins. I had, that was my last one, 2019. 2018. Be a defender that you don't like? Not that you don't like, but like a it'll defender probably be that one of the, It'll probably be Grover. Grover Stewart. It'll probably be Grover Stewart. <laughs> I mean, Grover would be funny to be okay. with. But probably Dan Bannock, I probably wouldn't want to be with. Why? He'll probably take all the room. He'll probably snore. He's a snorer? I think, I think Grover. I think Grover. I think he's a He'd be the heavy, worst one? I think he's a heavy snorer. So he'd be funny, but he'd be snoring and we'd be able to sleep. Yeah, so it would be all fun and games until it's time to go to bed. He'd he probably keep me up all night, take me all the way, take all the cover and stuff like that. He's a D lineman, so he, like, he probably kind of stinks a little bit. Yeah, I probably have to have him on the You seem kind of like your own tank kind of guy. But that's not a bad thing. You know, you, you go to chop houses, so you're definitely your own tank guy. <laughs> you gotta go, man. You gotta go. I'm, I'm telling you, the invite will do it. Hey. Great talking to you, man. Oh, sir,